Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Jesus Christ, the Solid Rock Ministries, where we preach Christ and Christ crucified. We are going on with our series, The Believer, and today we are speaking about your faith must be in Christ and in Christ alone. Your faith must be in Christ alone. It is written in Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, that knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we, we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. So what is justification? Justification is the action of showing something to be right or reasonable. The word justified means pronounced or treated as righteous. For a Christian, justification is the act of God, not only forgiving the believer's sin, but also attributing to him the righteousness of Christ. The Bible states in, in several places in the New Testament that justification only comes through faith in Christ. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So justification is not earned through our own works. Rather, we are covered by the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 said, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. So the Christian is being declared righteous, is just freed from the guilt of sin. The, the, the Christian who is, who is declared righteous is freed from the guilt of sin. So through faith in Christ, we are accepted before God. In verse 15 and 16, Paul reminds Peter that they as Jew do, did not find salvation through the law, but through faith in Christ. So in, if righteousness comes through the law, Paul says, then Christ's death was for nothing. Galatians chapter 2 verse 21, Paul says, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness comes by the law, then is Christ dead is in vain. To go back and live like the law saves after you have been saved through faith in Christ, in Paul's words, is to rebuild the, the system he tore down. Galatians chapter 2 verse 18, he says, for if I build again the things which I destroy, I make myself a transgressor. Paul reminds Peter that God has accepted the Gentiles even though they aren't circumcised and they don't eat what the old covenant asked them to eat. And if God has accepted them, so should they. So Paul and Peter, through faith in Christ, Jews and Gentiles are one. Through faith in Christ, Jews and Gentiles are accepted before God. Justification is solely through faith in Jesus Christ alone. God the judge takes the righteousness of Christ and credited it to your account as Christian, where you put your trust, where you put your faith in Christ. Paul put it this way in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 20, verse 21. He says, For he had made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we may be made righteousness of God in him. So we are justified through faith in Christ, not through our own effort. We shouldn't let anyone confuse us by saying that faith justifies people only when you, you do good works and you had love in it. It's not possible. The question here is, how do we become justified and receive eternal life? Paul answered that uh, by saying that we are pronounced righteous through faith in Christ alone, but not by our own effort. Only through faith in Jesus Christ, although my conscience can accuse me, my conscience can accuse me, remind me all the bad things I have done, everything I have been through, what I have done, what, how I didn't respect the, the, ten, the commandments of God. But even my, my mind remind me where I went through, where, what, where I'm coming from, and all the evil I have done. Yet God, without any merit on my own, out of mere grace, and puts to me the perfect sanctification, righteousness, and holiness of Christ. He grants this to me as if I had never had nor committed any sin, and as if I myself had accomplished all the obedience which Christ has done for me. That's why we need to believe that we are righteous. We have before the eyes of God. God sees us clean, white as snow, with any fault, with nothing. 
Understanding the doctrine of justification is very important for a Christian. Why? Because first, it helps you to, to see, to know yourself. Because you know yourself, you, you look for the way to learn to know Jesus and to grow spiritually. When you grow spiritually, more things are, will be clear for you. You will do good works without thinking because you know who you are. Also, the fact that you are justified is a finished work of God means that Christians have assurance of their salvation. You are, you are, you are delivered eternally. You are saved eternally. God cannot write your, your name in, in the book of life and remove it. It's not possible. You are saved eternally. It's a grace of God. So once a person is justified, there is nothing else he needs in order to gain entrance into heaven. Since justification comes by faith in Christ, based on his work, or on, on our behalf, our own works are disqualified as mean, means of salvation. Romans chapter 3 verse 28 says, Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. So, holding to justification by faith keeps us from failing for the lie that we cannot earn heaven. There is no ritual, no sacrament, no deed that come that can make us worry of the righteousness of Christ. It is only by grace in response of our faith that God has credited us the holiness of his son. We are saved by faith. We are righteous by through faith in Christ. We are righteous through faith in Christ. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share if you are blessed. This is your servant Lillian. Never forget the word, the, the word of God is our final authority. Thank you. Shalom.